Hi everyone. Today we are going to use watercolor to work on our value shape. If you have your photo, you can turn it into black and white. It will help you to see the value shape better. We're going to use the medium size of brushes. You only need to use one color. This one I choose purple, so I mix red with blue. Make sure you mix enough pile of purple colors or whatever the color that you choose. That way, you will not run out the paint. As you can see, easy here that we're going to split it to two value segments: the light and the dark. The brushes that we're using one is the medium size, and also a small size. The medium size is going to use for the big area, such as hair. The eye socket. And the keystone, the eyebrow. You might thinking there is a light part on the corner of the eyes, or there is a highlight. We can lift up the light after. But at this point, you will want to place the shadow that you see on your face. Underneath the nose, the upper lips, the bottom lips, you will leave a light. Only the part that is has a shadow. Left side of the neck. Here's my first layer of two value statement. I then started mixing colors again with purple. This time, I need to make sure that the pen is much thicker than the first layer. I scrape my brushes so that the the paints on the brushes is not as running as my first la layer. Squint your eyes again and look for the part that is even darker. It will be underneath the eyelid and also the iris, the eyebrow. The bottom of the nose, the nostril, you want to leave out the part that you did on the first layer. And then add the darker shadow on top of it. As you can see here, we are making the value that is darker with the second layer, and leaving the first layer value as the gray. The upper lips is usually darker than the bottom lips because the bottom lip is receiving the light. We also placing.
the cat shadow underneath the bottom lips and also the neck is darker as well. I'm prepared to do my third layer. This is going to be the last layer. I use the ultramarine blue and crimson to make the purple. Make sure the third layer, you don't want to add too much water. And also you are switching your brushes to a smaller size. Purple and yellow are complementary color. Therefore, the purple will appear much duller. And I use that to do my final touch, also the darkest area of my portrait. Use steam thirsty brushes by rinse your brushes then dry it to lift up the lighter part on the corner of your eyes. There is a shadow underneath the eyelid because the eyelid caused that cast shadows. Thinking about our mouth almost like a tuna can fish. It's a cylinder shape. In the front, it, there is a ball appear to be lighter. And then the side of the cylinder shape will be darker. There's also a cat shadow underneath the lips. I use the darker value for the cat shadow. the nostril I switch my brushes to a medium size for my hair is a larger shape I use the thirsty brushes to lift up the highlight on my iris. You can rinse your brushes, then dry it, and then lift up the little white dots as the highlights on the iris. Now I'm ready to 
to work on my light area. For the half tone, I use a lot of water, dilute my watercolors, and then place on the area that is half tone. Thank you for watching.